Welcome. This week, I'm thrilled to have a guest. My buddy, Jeff Patry. He's a full-time real estate investor and specifically a private money expert. Welcome. Well, thank you. I'm thrilled to be here as well, Renee. So we have a few questions to ask you, Jeff. How did you get started in real estate? Well, interestingly enough, I... Uh, I was watching a late night infomercial back in 2005, one of those scammy kind of things. And I, uh, I did some research on real estate scams. And through doing that research, I found out different strategies to invest in real estate. And my wife and I bought our first investment, which was a flip, a property to flip. We were lucky to make money on it. We decided we didn't want that transactional income. We just wanted to have something for the future. So in 2007, we started buying up uh, you know, regular rental properties right, to rent out for tenants, uh, you know, uh, duplexes and uh, single family homes. So how long have you been a full-time real estate investor? Full-time since, uh, I guess I would have to say 2000 and I guess 12 would be more accurate. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. What is private money? Just to define it. Well, uh, that's a good question, actually. Because people don't really understand sometimes what it means. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people think it's just people that have cash in their pocket or in the bank. The other way to do it is uh, to use someone's RSP, education savings plan, tax free savings account, that sort of thing. And they can lend from that in order to make money. So a lot of people think that uh, you know, all they can invest in is stocks and bonds and things like that. Mutual With funds. Mutual yeah. funds and things like that. So uh, private lenders can invest their registered money as well. Right. I mean, you could take your savings and loan it out as a mortgage. Correct. Yeah. That's it amazing. just has to go through a trust company. So it's a little more com- complicated, but it still gets done. It's the same thing. How did you get into the private money deals? Well, that's an interesting story. Uh, I was unloading groceries from a car one day and my neighbor, Jenny, came running across the street. Now you have to picture this. She's she was 80 years old at the time, 75. So she was 75 years old at the time, a uh, little tiny lady from France, not from okay. Quebec, France, French lady. And she came over and said, hey, Jeff, I'm just wondering if you need any money. And uh, Does this shocked. happen to you often? Uh, old no, actually, asked, old ladies. Money <laughs> like this? I thought she was happy to help her cross the street. <laughs> uh, no, actually, it was just by chance that she had uh, been losing money in the stock market. She took right. it out and she knew that I was investing in real estate. The, the money she was offering was ju- just exactly what we'd spent on the flip. Okay. So she ended up putting a kind of a second mortgage on the flip property uh, so we could actually free up the credit on our house. Right? So it's kind of neat. Yeah. That is great. That yeah. is great. And um, what are the benefits, the disadvantages of, of private money? Uh, well, the advantages are the ease of getting it done. I mean, we all know it's harder and harder to get mortgages these days, uh, and it's it's a, quite a process. You have to jump through a lot of hoops, right? Mm. Um, you know, if your credit score is a little bit off, uh, as sometimes it can be as a real estate investor because you're buying things all the time and using yes. credit for things all the time, so it goes up and down, up and down, right? And uh, you know, and, and of course, the property is always a concern as well. If you're buying a property needs renovation, sometimes the banks, the lenders don't like that. Dead but service ratio. That's right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There. But the private lenders, uh, you know, but once they, they they understand your strategy and if they like it, it's pretty mm. much uh, you know when they have the money, they're willing to lend it. Where do you find these investors? Um, that's always a question I get, right? Mm. And invariably, when I talk about private money, people ask me who my lenders are. Yeah, it seems sad to say, but they private lenders are everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't give people yeah, much yeah. guidance, but if you put yourself in a position to be out in a, at social events and clubs and things like that, you know, let's say Toastmasters, and you and I both oh, belong yeah, to Toastmasters, yeah. yes. right? Things like that, you meet people who are interested and they start asking you questions about what you're doing, mm-hmm. you know, and invariably it happens. Uh, and, and that's how you meet people. What do you suggest to people who are looking to get into the private money deals? What are the steps to go about it? Would there be a couple you know, three, oh, I four see. steps or so? Uh, you know, the first, first thing I'd have to say is, uh, this is going to sound really corny, yep. okay? But be yourself, right? Well, it could be tough. Uh, I can be. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to be you either. <laughs> Sorry, Renee, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm saying is, people try to try to uh, you know uh, make themselves into something or not. Try to be uh, more yes, professional, yes. or you know, they wear a suit and, uh, and a tie when they don't normally mm. do that, and then they're uncomfortable with with, the, with their own skin, basically, yes, right? Yes. Or try to speak a certain way that they're not mm. used to, you know. And uh, you know, when I met. Uh, one of my main private lenders has lent me quite a bit of money, and we met and sat in his truck in the Tim Hortons parking lot. Wow. Right? And uh, it was February, a little slushy day, and I was talking to him. I never met him before, and the windows started to fog up. You know, it really, <laughs> started to feel really awkward. I said, you know. There's a deal going through here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. But no, and he just, I just said, he asked me, well, what do you do? You know, what are you, what are you trying to achieve? You know, that's all people want to know, you know. Mm. Oh, I like your strategy. Okay, well, when something comes up, let me know, and we'll see what we can do. And then six months later, it was six months later when something came up that I thought he might be interested in. Because he told me his goals as well, what he's looking oh, to achieve, good, right? Good, yeah. And then um, 
And then he uh, did, did a deal with me, my first one. So. You're a smooth salesperson? Like, no, uh, no, I think, you know, I like to be positive and friendly, right? Mm -hmm. And upbeat. And that's kind of the way I am anyways. Yeah. But you tend to attract people who like, who are like you, right? Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I forgot. Okay. So be yourself. Yes, yeah. be yourself. And the next thing is always find out first is a big mistake I find people make is they never ask what the, the potential lender's goals are in terms of income, oh, interest yeah, rates, yeah, yeah. that kind of stuff. So what kind of interest rates would, uh, would they get? A good question. Uh, I tried to get the, well, as a borrower, of course, you try to get the lowest rate you possibly can, right? As a yeah. lender, you try to get the highest rate you <laughs> yes. possibly can within, within reason. But that's why it's so important to ask people ahead of time what kind of return are you expecting? Mm -hmm. right? Because you don't do that. I'm not saying you're wasting you your time, that, yes. but it's basically saying, hey, coffee's on me. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. You know, go on to the next person, right? Because otherwise it, there's no point. Okay. Mortgage brokers, because they deal with uh, people who are, I don't want to say professional lenders, you know, mm -hmm. people who do this for a living, right? Uh, they'll usually charge a little bit higher. The people I deal with are, are people who are just regular people like you or I, mm -hmm. you know, saying, hey, I need a better return on my money. How do I do it? Okay. Right? It's supposed to be win-win or there's no point in doing it. Those are great answers. Mm -hmm. So where do we find you? I want to get a hold of you. Best place to find me seriously is to search, search my name on Google. That's great, right? And uh, but I do have a website called PrivateMoneyMentor.ca. If you want to check that out, that's fine too. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming by. Well, thank you for having me, Renee. It's a pleasure.